A statue honoring Canada's first prime minister was the focus of a major debate in Kingston, Ontario last night. Kingston's widely considered Sir John A. Macdonald's hometown and many in the community are proud of their links to the first prime minister and indeed to his contributions to the country's history. But his oversight of the residential school system is stirring anger and controversy. So the story this morning from Joe Tunney, who is with us from Ottawa. Joe, as I said, a meeting last night, critical one about this statue. What happened? Yeah, so last night, council really faced... Uh, three decisions they could have taken, three paths. Uh, the first was to keep the statue up uh, uh, and add information that provides a greater historical context about the figure, uh, the historical figure of John A. Macdonald. Uh, the second was to take it down and put it temporarily in storage uh, while the city figures out what it, where it wants that statue to go. And then the third option um, was to take it down, put it in storage, but then, uh, install it at the Cataract Quay uh, Cemetery in Kingston, where uh, uh, Sir John A. Macdonald is uh, buried. That is ultimately what council voted for. Um, they voted, uh, you know, last night there was just a whole lot of testimony, very heated, from different sides. Um, you know, we heard arguments about whether or not we were kind of living up to the, uh, if we were putting in the right light the, the, accomplish the, the accomplishments of uh, Kingston's greatest citizen. At the t same time, we heard um, survivors of the 60s scoop talk about the uh, fear that they felt uh, while in the presence of the statue, which is uh, currently in City Park, just about a 10 minute walk from, from City Hall in Kingston. So uh, yeah, so it was a, a long five hour uh, long meeting last night. My goodness. So, and as you say, the decision at the end to move the statue to the Cataract Way Cemetery site, what happens next then in this process, Joe? Yeah, so um, I think top of mind for many councillors was to actually just move the statue as quickly as possible. Uh, I heard that a lot. Um, I think there's a real concern that if they keep the statue where it is, that um, f a will uh, only increase escalation in, in kind of this this uh, conversation happening in Kingston, uh, but also they they worry that uh, something could actually happen to the statue that it could be vandalized in in some way that would be difficult to repair. So uh, we don't have a precise timeline of when they want to actually install this statue um, at the cemetery, but part of this conversation is that. Uh, they would like to uh, have some sort of consultation with the local indigenous community about uh, moving the statue there, uh, that those dialogues still have to happen. So it's going to go in storage for uh, temporarily. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, for the councillors, um, what comes next is that they, they don't want the statue, uh, they don't want it to go into storage forever, that they, 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 they the, the mayor made a strong statement that uh, this is a commitment to to have a plan for this statue. Uh, but at the same time, he, you know, he talked about that he wants it in a different setting uh, and in a different context uh, when people go see the statue. Back to you. All right, Joe, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Joe Tunney is there in Ottawa for us this morning.